Hi, I'm Scott with 4D Tech. Today I want to talk to you about our Auto Start Stop Eliminator for Ford vehicles. Today we are in a 2019 Ford Edge. Be sure to check out down below in the description other models and years that this version will cover. If you do not see your model and year listed below, click the link to our website and search for your vehicle and see what we offer for your model and year. This Start Stop Eliminator does no programming to the vehicle. It is easy to install with no vehicle disassembly and does not affect your vehicle's warranty. It simply plugs in line with a module underneath your dash and it remembers the last state that you left the auto start stop system in, which eliminates the need to push the off button every time you get in the vehicle. If you left it in the off state when you exited the vehicle, this module will remember and resend that off state to the vehicle when you get back in and start the vehicle again. If you've left the system enabled when you left the vehicle, when you get back in, the system will still be enabled as well. Let's proceed to show you how easy it is to plug this unit in and get started. First, before we get up underneath the dash, we'll give you some perspective on where to find the connector that we are gonna be disconnecting and putting the start stop eliminator in line with. The easiest way to locate this connector, it's going to be up underneath the dash and we'll be under there momentarily actually installing the unit. But when you look at this under dash cover here where there's this line, we'll follow our fingers down underneath the dash and reach behind It'll be behind a metal bar and straight up. So it's going to be, you follow this around and straight up and you'll touch a connector that is on a black module. The wiring for the connector is facing the front of the vehicle. The module is right on the other side of this panel. So you're not looking up on the firewall. You're not looking up above the pedals. You're looking directly on the other side of this panel for a connector where the wires are facing the forward of the vehicle. Now we will get underneath there and disconnect it and put the start stop eliminator in line. All right, now we're positioned underneath the dash and this here is the connector that we're talking about. It's gonna be the only connector where the wiring faces the firewall and this module is mounted to the back side where we followed our hand around to the back side of that front panel where your knee hits. So in order to connect the start stop eliminator, first we need to disconnect this connector. There's a clip right in the middle and you're gonna push that clip in and disconnect the connector. And then we'll let that hang down. Now, keep in mind, this is the only connector that this thing will actually connect to. Um, you know, don't fear that you're going to unplug the wrong thing. It won't hurt anything. If you did accidentally unplug the wrong thing, just plug it back in. Only one connector will line up with the start stop eliminator. So we will take the start stop eliminator here and we'll plug this connector into the one end. When you plug it in, the, the module itself on the harness will blink blue momentarily to let you know that it has powered up. Then we'll take the other side of the connector of the start stop eliminator harness and we'll plug it into that module. So you see that that's plugged in now. So it's plugging in line with that connector. The only other thing we'll want to do is because this is this has some extra slack in it now that we've added that harness in line, we're going to want to tie this up a little. There's a right above here is a solid plastic wiring loom. It will be right in front of the brake pedal bar. And we'll take one of the zip ties that came in the package and wrap it around that and around the start stop eliminator.
and we'll just tighten down that zip tie. And the big thing is you're just tying this unit up, you know, just to make sure that it doesn't hang down, that it doesn't hit anything or so. You know, just tie it up to a harness out of the way. So just remember, you only have to do this once, install the unit, and you are done, and it'll just stay in the vehicle. So that is all there is to actually physically installing the start-stop eliminator with the harness in the edge. Now that we have the start-stop eliminator plugged in, let me show you how it works. As mentioned earlier, the start-stop eliminator simply remembers the last state that you left the start-stop system in and reproduces it the next time you get in the vehicle. It is not making any programming changes to the vehicle whatsoever. We'll disable the system by pushing the off key and the off is now lit and it says it was disabled by the switch on the dash. Now that we've shut off the vehicle and we've left, when we come back and start the vehicle, the dash will say it's deactivated by the switch again and the off will still be lit up. So the vehicle has, re has remembered the state it was in before when we shut it off previously. Also, if you left the system enabled the last time you got out of the vehicle, it remembers that as well. And now you see how easy it is to use our plug-in, no programming solution to the start-stop system in your Ford vehicle. I am Scott with 4D Tech. Thank you for checking out our video.